So when students open up the program, they will be randomly generated a radius and a mass of a stopper, which they cannot change. What they will be able to do is adjust the number of washers. So students should start collecting data with whatever number of washers they start with. I would suggest counting 10 revolutions, then use the radius of the circle to find the circumference of the circle. Then I would use the fact that it did 10 revolutions in a certain amount of time to get the speed of the stopper. Once they have the speed, they record the speed of the stopper and the number of washers. They should reset, click on the washers, change the number of washers, and run it again. I would suggest between five and 10 different trials. And when they're done their five or 10 trials, I would suggest them graphing with the number of washers on the x-axis and the speed on the y-axis. They will get a square root relationship and their graph constant will help them make predictions. They should go back to their program, click on finished, type in their name, type in the graph constant. So in this case it would be 1.858. They could then make a prediction for a number of washers that they did not actually study using their equation. And then optionally, the teacher could have the student figure out the mass of just a single washer. Every student will have a different mass, but the washers will all weigh the same. So for instance, this, this student has 15 identical washers. A different student would have washers with a different mass, but they would all be identical. I hope this helps you formulate a way of using this program with your students.